Superman kissing Lil Wayne has always been a hot topic to which not much explanation was ever given. Even stated he was the only one who Birdman kisses. Hey, I'm the only person he kissed. I don't like to be touched by people I don't tell to touch me, so. But when he was young, his mama didn't want him around. He just kept coming. He wanted it. He wanted the life. Yes, I knew where she kept her gun. And it was in her bedroom. And so I went in the bedroom, grabbed the gun. You actually pulled the trick? Yeah, I pulled the trick. In Hollywood, there are so many stars who fall victim to grooming. This is when an older person pursues a minor for personal gain. And that's exactly what happened between Lil Wayne and Birdman. Wayne was only 9 years old when Birdman started preying on him. And since then, we've seen far too many creepy instances of these two acting more than just father and son, like kissing out in public and acting like it's normal. So let's get into it. We need to talk about the extremely creepy relationship between Lil Wayne and Birdman, because there's definitely something very wrong going on here. Birdman kissing Lil Wayne has always been a hot topic to which not much explanation was ever given. If you guys don't know who Lil Wayne or Birdman is, they're both very popular rappers with a long history together. That photo you just saw of Lil Wayne and Birdman kissing leaked back in October 2006. The internet went nuts because this picture is shocking. We've got two hard rappers out here kissing on the lips in public. But as I was doing research on this video, I was shocked at how many instances there are of these two just like smooching in public. Like back in 2006 on a show called Rap City, they were seen kissing as Lil Wayne entered the studio. No one else in that room got that kind of greeting, but there's this bond between Birdman and Lil Wayne, and they're not afraid to show it. I mean, I even found another video of them at a concert hanging out with 2 Chains and Lil Wayne and Birdman kiss. I couldn't really find the part where it exactly happened, and the music is really loud, so we're not going to play that clip, but there are many clips out there of them two just hanging out and then kissing. But what makes this freaky is that Birdman is kind of like a father to Lil Wayne. He's acted like a father in his life and they even had an album come out. It's literally titled Like Father, Like Son. The album came out in 2006, the same year that creepy photo resurfaced. Some of the songs on this album are titled Stuntin' Like My Daddy and Leather So Soft. What's going on with this R. Kelly-like relationship between Birdman and Lil Wayne? In one interview, Lil Wayne said that he was the only person that Birdman kisses. Wayne at one point on BET's 106 and Park even stated he was the only one who Birdman kisses. I gotta ask I ladies, no I got y'all up here. So when you kiss a girl, right? Do hey, they I'm the only person he kisses. <laughs> It's weird how they claim each other like they're in a relationship. I mean, it almost seems like they're dating. I found one video on YouTube titled, Birdman tries to kiss Lil Wayne again, but Wheezy ain't having it. And you'll see in this clip that Birdman's like kind of like grabbing on to Lil Wayne and like trying to get closer to him. And it seems like Lil Wayne is upset with him. <laughs> So there's a lot going on in that clip, but if you take a look at the comments, people are really supportive of Lil Wayne. This person writes, I feel sorry for Lil Wayne. God knows what he's been through. Another person writes, Birdman, quote, are we broke up? 
finish or done, Lil Wayne walks away and whips hair back. Another person writes, that looked like a fight between lovers. The way he touches Lil Wayne's shoulders, like, honey, don't be like that. Then Birdman gets on stage professing his love for Lil Wayne, hoping he forgives him for something. Birdman can't say how he really feels, so he disguises it. It's like, a father's type of love. Another person writes, Birdman like, come here, give me some sugar, you or me. This person writes, TBH, I'm not really a fan of Lil Wayne, but I feel deeply bad for him. He's been so traumatized all his life, and that's why he's on so many drugs to ease the pain. And finally, Wayne has been through a lot behind closed doors, and he's probably seen stuff that he shouldn't have seen as a child. He was with Birdman since he was a little boy, and you can see in Lil Wayne's face he's been through so much. And that person is right. Lil Wayne has been through a lot, especially with Birdman. And looking online, their relationship is incredibly toxic. There are clips of them kissing in public, and then there are clips of them fighting in public. <laughs> hey there. So much fun. All right. Hold on. Wow. Okay. To make the pro trophy. We were on the same team, and we basically, we are on the same team, we basically just got cheated. I don't like to be touched by people I don't tell to touch me, so. So how did we get to the point where two grown men are acting like this? Let's go ahead and go back in time to the beginning of their relationship. The story with you and Wayne, how did you guys become so close? His parents went to school with my brother and sister. Got it. Um, honestly, when she was, when he was young, I met him through another guy named Lil Slim. But when he was young, his mama didn't want him around me. So Birdman met Lil Wayne when Wayne was eight years old, which now this is kind of starting to sound like a grooming situation. And I feel like Lil Wayne's mother knew that Birdman was up to no good. Reports claim that Lil Wayne's mother did not want her son to be around Birdman and that's because he had a reputation on the streets. And I mean, I wouldn't want my eight year old hanging out with, you know, a big rapper either. And so I understood that, but he just kept coming. He wanted it. He wanted the life. And I just wanted to help him because I ain't want him to live my life. I just saw some young bro with some talent and I thought I could help him. And that's what I did. I just saw some little youngsters lost like I was at their age. And I wanted to see how I could bless them and help them go to school and don't be like I was. Birdman can try to frame it a certain way, but at the end of the day, an eight-year-old doesn't need to be involved in the rap scene. But I understand why he wanted to help because he had gone through a tough upbringing himself. So he wanted to protect Lil Wayne, but he ultimately did the opposite because he didn't protect him from anything. In 1995, Lil Wayne was 12 years old and he signed to Cash Money Records. He actually joined the label as a duo with another person and their group was called BGZs and they put out an album titled True Story. That same year, Lil Wayne's stepfather, Rabbit McDonald, is killed. As a result, Birdman takes on even more of a father figure role. It seems like this Rabbit McDonald, Rabbit is his nickname, was really Lil Wayne's father figure growing up until he was killed. And I was trying to figure out how he died and I found this one article that claims that he got kidnapped at a club. They shot him and threw his body right out of the car. Whew. I mean, imagine being 12 and learning that's what has happened to your pretty much your father. This gave Birdman the perfect opportunity to hone in on Lil Wayne's life and take advantage of a vulnerable boy. The same year all of this is going on, Lil Wayne actually tries to take his own life. In this clip, you're going to hear Lil Wayne talk about the moment where he felt like he couldn't handle life anymore and he uh, knew where his mother kept her gun. He took the gun and he planned to end it. I called the police. Yes, I knew where she kept her gun. And it was in a bedroom. And so I went in the bedroom, grabbed the gun. I already made the phone call. Looked in the mirror, and did like that. Of course, and was like, oh, no. You know, cause I, the guy looked too scared. That was my head. Like, no, no, no. So at first, Wayne had this gun, and he was ready to point it to his head, but then he got a little bit too scared. At this point, he had already called the police because he decided 
he was going to do this. Wayne said that he called the police, then went into his mother's bedroom to get her gun. He initially held the gun to his head, but got scared and instead decided to shoot himself in the chest, aiming for his heart. He said, I didn't feel a thing. You actually pulled the trigger? Yeah, I pulled the trigger. Where'd you, where'd you shoot? In my chest. Didn't feel a thing from my heart. and didn't feel a thing though, so I wasn't going through any pain. It was a shock. I woke up to, doom, 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 to the police knocking. And I was, that's what woke me up. Mind you, the walls, the ceilings and the walls are white like this. So when you, you know, you're, I'm on my back, when you're looking up, it's probably, my eyes probably were open the whole time. I didn't know, I probably had to click and click. But as a kid, all you remember is, you see, when you die, you're gonna see the white and you're gonna have, well, I thought that was the, the white, the last one, the guy that did. So at 12 years old, Lil Wayne has pretty much hit rock bottom, which I can't imagine being a young kid and going through all of that already. So Birdman wanted to act like Wayne's savior. In 1998, Lil Wayne signs an official solo contract with Cash Money Records. And then it seems like Lil Wayne's career is doing pretty well. I mean, through the 2000s, he's making music, he's popular, everyone's listening to Lil Wayne. But then in 2005, they run into some issues. Lil Wayne is the only person left on the cash money rosters from the label's breakout years. Following his album The Carter, Wayne flirts with the idea of signing with other labels. It sounded like he wanted to possibly sign with Jay-Z at the time. He ends up renegotiating his contract and staying with cash money. A year after that in 2006, we see that creepy photo of them out and about kissing and people start looking at their relationship a little bit more closely because I mean like, what is really going on here this picture makes no sense but birdman claims that he has an explanation for all of this he was quoted saying before i had a child wayne and all of them were my children you heard me wayne to me is my son my firstborn son that's what it do for me that's my life that's my love that's my thing that's my little son i love him to death i was his father when he didn't have a father since he was nine years old and i love him like my own i would give my life for him and i would take a life for him i always looked at wayne as my son and i always looked at it like because i was in the streets mm -hmm. and i thought this might be the last time they ever see me i was his father when he didn't have a father since he was nine years old all of this is in response to that kissing picture and he said he'd kiss him again i kiss my daughter my other son do you have children well if you did you would understand what i meant with it i just think people took that too far that's my son i'll do it again tomorrow i'll kill for him ride or die for him so maybe they're just like a really overly affectionate family other people who are close to this group have also weighed in. This rapper Turk said that they're just like the mob. They kiss each other all the time. And I'm not with Birdman and them to this day, but that was just something that they did in the house. So that rapper was fully aware of this going on. And I truly believe him because another rapper named, I believe, Young Buck came out and said that he also witnessed this. In late 2020, Young Buck, who was around cash money during their early days, Days, spoke on Birdman kissing other artists. I, I seen him kind of, I don't know if it was a mafia or what it was, but for me, it was something that, you know, I viewed as that's them. So at this point, it seems like Birdman and Wayne have an extremely close father and son relationship. Um, something that also includes like kissing, even though they're not like father and son. It's weird because like, you know, Birdman came into Lil Wayne's life when he was like nine, 10 years old. And it again, like kind of sounds like grooming when you look at other Hollywood stories. I mean, it kind of fits the equation. But moving on to 2014, Lil Wayne wasn't happy with Birdman. He told the crowd, I'm in an effed up bad situation, but I'll be out of it soon, which is foreshadowing of the future legal battle between Birdman and Wayne. That same month, he also goes to Twitter and he starts to rant about his record label. He wrote on Twitter, I want off this label and nothing to do with these people, but unfortunately, it ain't that easy. That following month, Lil Wayne sues Cash Money Records for $51 million, claiming that Birdman hasn't been paying him his advances from his album, so he's not making the money that Birdman promised him. A few months later, in March 2015, Lil Wayne decides to diss Birdman in a song. The Young Money crew came together and they put together a long video of them rapping on some beats, and it seems like Lil Wayne was upset with Birdman at this time and wanted him to know it. I think I need a hit, man. I can't trust the next man. I 
thank you for my hit, man. About to go kidnap the big man. <laughs> As you can see, I got big plans. <laughs> big plans to be the big man. Hey, <laughs> for an honor boulevard. So that was really the first time that Lil Wayne had ever said anything bad about Birdman publicly. But after this, it all started to grow very quickly. In April 2015, he was performing and he shouted F Cash Money on stage, which is his record label that he signed to under Birdman. You have been motherfucking amazing. My name is Tucci. I'm here on behalf of Young Lula motherfucking baby. F Cash Money in their ass. Holla back. Birdman must not have been happy with this because he actually ran into Lil Wayne in Miami in July 2015. They were at Club Live and Wayne was performing when Birdman supposedly threw a bottle of like vodka or some drinks onto them while they're on stage. It's pretty difficult to tell what's going on in this video clip, but it seems like they're recording what happened after the drinks were thrown. <laughs> So throwing the drink is pretty petty, but this next story is far from that. It's actually really scary because it seems like Lil Wayne's life was at risk at one point and it may have been Birdman's fault. So much for a father and son like relationship. I mean, what kind of father would go and try to put a hit out on his son? Let's take it back to July 2015 because an indictment was released claiming that Birdman and rapper Young Thug conspired to kill Lil Wayne in the tour bus shooting that occurred earlier that year. In April 2015, Lil Wayne's tour bus was shot at on an interstate in Atlanta following a club performance. The person who was shooting at Lil Wayne is named Jimmy, who has ties to Young Thug. And the timing of the situation leaves people speculating that Birdman is involved. This man named Pee Wee Roscoe, who's affiliated with Young Thug, thug was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison for this shooting and this person this peewee roscoe actually claims that the shooting was in fact due to birdman and young thugs beef with Lil Wayne, but these two were never formally charged with any crime because they had someone else do their dirty work. At this point, it seems like their relationship isn't ever going to heal because they obviously have some really deep rooted issues and now they're sending other people to go and kill each other. But in January 2016, Lil Wayne and Birdman reunite at Drake's New Year's Eve party. Fans were happy to see that Wayne and Birdman were spotted at the same place at the same time for the first time in a while. They reunited at Drake's party in Miami, and it seems like they're getting on a better foot. They further appear to patch things up in a couple weeks later at another club in Miami, but there's still a lawsuit active. Because at this point, Lil Wayne is still suing Birdman for $51 million, which is probably why Birdman wants to get rid of Lil Wayne. But their reunion didn't last for long, because by September 2016, Lil Wayne was publicly saying that he would never work with Birdman again. Lil Wayne was asked about his relationship with Birdman and if they would ever work together again. He was quoted saying, no sir, give me mine and I'll walk off free. That same month, Birdman was sending Lil Wayne happy birthday wishes through Instagram. So it seemed like Birdman was trying to like please Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne didn't want anything to do with him, which kind of reminds me of that one like clip of them in the club and like Lil Wayne's like pushing away from him. It seems like Birdman is always chasing him. By 2017, Lil Wayne is exhausted. He's been trying to put out his album for years now, and Birdman comes out claiming that it will be coming out very soon, because at this point, Birdman still controls all of Lil Wayne's music. He was quoted saying, it's definitely coming out. The situation with me and my son, I'm going to put it all behind us and just let it move forward. Wayne was one of the best artists to do the game. I want to see him continue doing what he's been doing, and I'm going to support whatever he's doing. 
doing. And it seems like that made Lil Wayne happy because they ended up reuniting again in 2018. After months of Lil Wayne continuing to show ill will towards his label and label owner, Wayne and Birdman reunite with a hug at Club Live in Miami. The same club where like Birdman was throwing drinks at Lil Wayne a few years prior. A few weeks later, Lil Wayne shows up to stun us before anything soundtrack listening party, showing more signs that there's hope that these two are patching up their friendship. And while it seemed like they were getting along, I think that Lil Wayne was just, you know, maybe accepting that Birdman was going to lose and that he would ultimately be free from his contract and you know what, they could just move on. Because in June 2018, a few months after they were seen hanging out, Lil Wayne was released from his cash money contract. By winning this lawsuit, he was able to move forward with releasing his album. And he also was granted $10 million, which um, in my opinion shows that Birdman wasn't properly paying Lil Wayne because if the court gave him like $10 million, that's probably what he was owed. Wayne's attorney was quoted saying, I can say that my client is happy. He is his own man, a man that owns his assets, his music, and himself. At some point, Wayne will let his fans know what's going to happen next. Wayne did go on to release his album, and it seems like he's been pretty happy after leaving that record label. In August 2018, Birdman publicly apologizes to Lil Wayne at a 2018 festival. Birdman actually joins Lil Wayne on stage at his own self-titled festival called Lil Weezyon which I'm like, <laughs> it makes me think of like Travis Scott's uh, Astro World, but I'm sure Lil Wayne's is much better. Actually, I've seen Lil Wayne live once and it was really fun. But uh, this festival is called Lil Louisiana and it's in New Orleans. While they took a break on stage, Birdman apologized to Lil Wayne and it was really heartfelt. So people actually believed that Birdman was sorry for what he's put Lil Wayne through. I can't really read this verbatim, but he says, it feels amazing to be home with my son. I love him to death. Um, uh, I knew this day was going to come, but I didn't know when it was going to come. Um, this is the best guy, the realest guy, the illest guy. I wanted to apologize to my, you know, friend worldwide and let uh, you know, let him know that you heard me. I'm, try I'm trying my best to read this. I'm not using any of these slurs. Never. He says, we're going to do this stuff until we die. It's YMCMB for death f you you heard me so um maybe not like the sweetest apology but i'm sure like you know in their like <laughs> in their own way it probably means a lot to them and it seems like that was kind of the end of their feud i don't know what's going on with their relationship and if they're like smacking on each other still or you know what's going on there but there's definitely something really wrong and i feel like little wayne has just gone through so many traumatic instances i hope he's like living his best life now well let's go ahead and open this peel box package item i've got a really huge one today um i don't know where it's from but it's huge so we need to open it uh, i'm actually like kind of nervous like what is inside of this thing <sighs> Okay, I don't see a letter yet. Let's go ahead and see what's in this thing. So we've got a package right here, and then we've got a really big one right here. Okay, so we've got some artwork right here, which looks really cool. Like, what? I love this. It looks like American Horror Story-ish. Okay, wait. Sloan, you're a wonderful person. Sorry for my handwriting. I wanted to send you an original piece of art. I hope it's okay. I know it's kind of big. <laughs> Thank you for important topics. Oh, so it's like a piece of art thing. Wow, cute. And then let's see what this is. So we've got this right here. It looks like their name is Sky and their account is Deathbed Awaken and Viral Flower Art. Cool, so I'll list all those below. Thank you so much. We've got some really pretty coasters right here, which I love. <gasps> wow, they're like kind of like my colors in a way. I really love these colors. They're so pretty. Now let's go ahead and see what's going on here. I'm like a little bit nervous. Wow. <gasps> that is so pretty looking. Look, it's like some like, I don't know if it's like, is it splattered art? Or what type of art is it? And also, which way does it go? Does it go this way? Wow, maybe this way because of the writing right here, you see? Sorry, I'm like all up in the microphone. But wow, this is so nice. Thank you so much, Sky. Um, I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put this. I feel like you can go up here above my desk. But I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this thing is really heavy, really sturdy. And like, listen to the sound of it. Wow. I'm going to list everything below. So definitely go and check out Sky. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. I mean, look at this. This is dope. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.